Hello everyone, my name is Rebecca and I run the Curious Flea Vintage Store on Etsy, hence the name of my YouTube channel, The Curious Flea. I actually find it quite hard to say The Curious Flea, so I don't know why I call myself that, but nevertheless, here we are, and um, today I'm just gonna, you know, I thought we'd just do a little vlog of various bits and pieces that I do. It's my day off from work today. I am a dog groomer, normally. So on my days off from dog grooming, I do like to do some constructive reselling things. That's what we're going to do today. I've got some orders to pick and, oh, I got a new photo box. I've got this tiny photo box, which is cool. You'll find them on eBay. It's just a small one. It's like less than 10 pound. And it's actually fab. Like I've lost the liners and everything, but it still works great. Um, I use this for all of my jewelry. I could fit like small stuff in, like little jugs um big stuff i was just photographing it in the office next door before um i had the walls all painted white and everything and i just took the photos on my leather top desk which worked great however now that i've moved into this room i've got pink everywhere which probably look okay in the background um but this desk is just like white so i'm trying to make my photos look a little bit more profesh so i've got that photo box so we'll try and get that out and see what that's like and yeah, maybe we'll pack some orders as well. I know people like packing videos. So yeah, we'll just hang out. Let's get to it. Right, so I have six orders to pack today, which is good going. So, and I actually just sold something while filming the introduction, which is good. So you guys have brought me luck, which is fabulous. And I will do this more often if that's gonna be the case. Um, so the first one is an alabaster type stone vase and it doesn't have a custom SKU label on my list and which means it's probably something I've had for a long long time. Also is going to mean I don't know where the hell it is on my shelf so let's have a go. It's sold for £20, free shipping on Etsy. Um, hmm, vase, why would a vase be? I feel like it would be here. In vase land, but I can't see him. <gasps> Found it. Now, when I moved all of my um, stuff from up in the loft, I've actually switched my shelves up a little bit. So everything should be still on the same level, but not necessarily in the same shelf, which is making it slightly more difficult, but it's nice and open and they're like super big shelves over there. So, so it's fine. I think it'll be okay. This is it here. It's really heavy. No markings or anything on the base. It's actually got a few chips off here and a few in the design. That was all declared and it's still sold. So that was £20 free shipping on Etsy. Next, let's have a look. I have, oh, this is a really good one. I'm gonna probably say this wrong. Etruscan horse. You know, like the Egyptian horses. So it is an Etruscan horse and it's super heavy um, metal and it's gone heavy metal super heavy metal and it's gone for 60 pounds plus shipping on ebay and i thought i was like kind of pushing it at 60 pound for that but actually when i look some of them i think some of them are signed or there's some designers who make them and they go for like over 100 pound mine didn't have any markings and i couldn't really for sure say if it was by a particular designer so i just listed it as an egyptian etruscan heavy metal <laughs> horse so this has gone for 60 pounds and i think it's just here i've seen it recently um oh here he is it's fab 60 pound for this is great i paid a pound for this recently at car boot sale at team valley in gateshead so these are really worth picking up as i say this has no markings on it i don't know the maker 60 pound amazing definitely something to watch out for i wouldn't have even thought to pick that up but i just i was just like oh pony picked it up 60 pound fab next oh we've got some jewelry actually um a little avon type in mm, draw d 85 i think it's in here let's have a look i'll show you actually can i flip you around on here no, I can't. Well, I'll just turn you around. My little drawers are there. That's where I keep my jewellery. I thought I'd flip you around for these. 
Draw D number 85, a little Avon brooch. These might have got a little bit messed up in the move because sometimes they fall down the back a little bit. I'll pop it on here and have a look. It's like a really thin tie pin. Oh, I've sold those as well. We'll get them out. So I haven't found what I'm looking for. Oh, I have. There it is there. Get these out. These are Coral Craft clip-on earrings so we'll get those two out and you can have a little closer look at those so this is just a simple little bar brooch Avon this has gone for 11.99 plus shipping on eBay so that's that one I love to pack jewelry it's just so easy easy peasy and these are Coral Craft clip-on earrings these have gone for 20 pounds plus shipping get them out for you really cute design it's like a faux pearl chunky center really nice pieces coral craft well it says coral craft on the back probably can't make that out very well but it's always great when they just write their brand name isn't it <laughs> and coral craft necklaces let's have a look i've got a necklace down here actually most of you will know if you sell jewelry the Coral Craft hang tag is very distinctive and the best way to remember it is to think of a little mole going like this with all of its legs and, and its hands clinging onto something or other. Let's see. Ooh, oh, you probably can't see it. Oh, oh, there. Can you make him out? It looks like a tiny little mole with his little hands and legs out. That is the Coral Craft hang tag. And I always find Coral Craft is a good brand to pick up. They sell for decent money. As I say, these have gone for £20. Necklaces like this, I can usually get £20 for. Um, yeah, so Coral Craft is always one to watch out for, especially if you're only paying 50 pence or a pound for a piece. Always worth a punt. They're a good costume jewellery designer. Have I got anything else? Uh, there's a couple that I picked up. I picked at the end of the orders video, but I'll go and grab them again in case you didn't see that. I mean, I don't know why you wouldn't have watched that, guys. I'm sure you're all very loyal, so you lot will have all seen this before. But anyway, just in case there's any newbies, I'll show you these two. This has gone for £7.50 plus postage. It's not a lot of money, it's like a print on wood so that's cute and the other one was on Etsy and that has gone for da, 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 14 pounds I think let's see 18 pounds 18 pounds plus shipping it's like a copper background and an elephant and I believe when stuff sticks out like that it's called in relief fab copper armor so yeah that's it that's all we need to pack today May as well do it together, eh? Let's go over there now and pack. Hello and welcome to the packing station. Oh, right, Negan's going to present this section for us. Um, <laughs> I don't quite fit in the frame. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, we'll just... Negan pre can present today. And uh, is it weird that Negan's my favourite character of The Walking Dead? Nah, I think it's fine. I think it's all right. Um, anyway, jewellery... If you've watched my other packing videos, you'll know how I do it. But um, always write what's going in on the box before you seal it up and then have a panic attack because you can't remember what's in each box. Um, so just a little large letter cardboard box for my jewellery. A little square of tissue paper, square of bubble wrap. Pop the item in. Put that all nicely together. I got some super cute stickers off eBay which say pretty things inside. I'll just stick one of those on and seal it up and it's as simple as that for my jewellery that's all I do if anyone buys on Etsy and the market as a gift that will suffice um also I've just I just buy rolls of like thin ribbon so if you want to wrap it up as a little parcel you can do that that's always cute so that's those two done great nice and easy to do and we'll maybe do the horse next just move this out the way Let's see what's going on um I use these boxes, 12 by 9 by 6, and these are the maximum size you can have a small Royal Mail parcel. I'm 
trying to buy stuff that will fit into these into these boxes just for ease really I don't have one of those fancy tape dispensers I just you know use scissors the old school way so box then you know how we do it we go one ball deep with newspaper simple crunch it up go one ball deep but I find newspaper to be great, great for packaging. Uh, my mum likes to buy the peanuts. I don't like the peanuts. I find that they move around a lot in the box. Um, I know that the newspaper isn't gonna go anywhere. It's got some give to it. So if the box gets bashed, everything isn't just gonna crush. It's gonna have a little bit of bounce in it, which is great. So that's that for the box. Good old bubble wrap. I'm not gonna wrap all of these things, by the way. That would be so boring. We'll just do this one together. And then the others are all going to be the same process. Bubble wrap. Move this out of the way. Hey, this is like a big art attack, isn't it? This is great. I feel like I'm on Blue Peter. <laughs> I usually fold my bubble wrap over. I just thought it a bit thicker. You can get the fancy big hole bubble wrap if you like, but I find the small holes just getting the little nooks and crannies a, a bit easier than the big holes. I do have a tape dispenser and a little tape. I would not be without that. This is from Amazon and it's bad. It doesn't have a make, but that's what it looks like if you're searching. Um, yeah, I wouldn't be without my little tape dispenser. I used to like cut little strips of tape and stick it on the edge of my desk, but this is way easier. Then that's one layer. I'm gonna do some more, because as I say, this is a 60 pound item and I want to make sure it gets there safe. It is metal, so I don't think it's gonna sustain too much damage, but you never know. I'm actually gonna send this one with Royal Mail. I've not actually had any bother with Hermes all year. I've not had anything broken. I don't even think I've had anything lost this year with Hermes, which is fab. Um, but I just like, I don't know, I just feel more secure sending things with Royal Mail sometimes. For my more valuable items so everything else will go with Hermes. My little um, letter boxes for the jewellery will go with Royal Mail. Um, so that is the plan. Right, right. And again I just like to stick a little sticker on. Pretty things inside. I feel like the little touches like that make people remember that you're a human being and that you are an Amazon. And it means if there is a problem, I find them to be more forgiving and speak to you a lot nicer if they realise that you're just a single person trying your best rather than a big Amazon corporation. Otherwise, I think they can talk to you like a piece of crap. If anyone does talk to you like a piece of crap, you know what? Don't reply straight away. Because I have a tendency to just get like really annoyed <laughs> with stuff. So I had this one person who messaged me um, this week about some placemats I sold them, and all it was all in the description, all of the damage and everything. They had some knocks out that hadn't been used, but they had some chips out of them, which I took photos of and I described it. And this person messaged me saying these placemats, three of them have knocks out of them. And I was just like, why didn't you read the description? You know, how we do. Um, but I didn't reply straight away. I mean, it was like 10 o'clock at night. I was like, I'm just gonna reply. So I replied this morning, just be calm. Try to be nice, but don't be a pushover. So I just screenshotted my, my description screenshot all of the pictures that I've taken of the damage and I just said hi sorry you're not happy with these placemats all of the damage 
all of the damage was shown in my photos and in the description. Um, if you'd like to return them, just open a return a return case with eBay. Um, I find a lot of the time it's not worth getting in an argument with them. Just say, look, I'm sorry, you're not happy. The damage was in the description. It was in the photos. I said, just return it. If you don't want it, that's fine. Um, he said, oh, no, I was just um, a bit disappointed. I think he was fishing for a partial refund. Um, so, yeah, Stangy Brown, don't be a pushover. Don't immediately refund these people. Just get them to open a return case. A lot of people won't bother to send it back and just be chill about it because it's easy to fly off the handle if you're anything like me. Anyway, items inside and just stuff around the edges. Again, it's secure but it has a little bit of give. And then we're going to go another one ball of newspaper deep just to fill the top. bulge out the top a little bit not too much that's all covered with one ball of newspaper close it up now if you close it up and you find it's like gonna sink in the middle super loads just put some more newspaper in i think that's fine for that tape it up Bam. and then right on the box what's inside horse so you know when you're packing it what's in there but that's it for the that's it for the packing section of today's video So that is it, packaging done. I've now just got to print my labels and handily in my new setup, my printer and my laptop is over there. So that is fab. I just picked up a couple of things today at a charity shop. So we'll go through that in a bit maybe. Um, Got this jug, cushion, necklace, coasters. So we'll maybe go through that in a minute. It is five past four now. Um, I need to print the labels for those, as I say, um, but my horses are due in at half past four. So I'm going to get changed and we'll maybe go and see Toby and Cherry for a minute and then we'll come back, print those labels. I've got um, a couple of things that I got from a charity shop today, so I'll show you that. Yeah, are you having a good day so far? Good, good. Right, let's go before it gets dark. I actually have a couple of parcels that I packed this morning that I need to drop off. Um, so we'll do that on the way to the yard. Um, post box for this one and there's a Hermes drop shop just around the corner from my house and right next to the post box, which is handy. So we'll do that now. And I hate going in shops with normal people when I stink of horses, because they must think I'm, I just don't wash or something. Um, it's embarrassing. So anyway, we'll just do it. We'll just get it done. <sighs> Hermes parcel dropped off and I've got my stinky yard boots on and to the post box right here we go arrive safely job done now to get the horses in it's Dobbs Dobbs hello good boy bedtime there's Cherry all tucked in Cherry has no concept of personal space <laughs> You're fogging the camera up, Jerry. <laughs> Show everyone what you look like there. Good girl. Are you all tucked in, Toby? Jerry? Yeah? Are you all tucked in? <laughs> yeah, job done. Right, back home now. So while I was rearranging all our rooms, this used to be my little dressing room. I've chucked out four big black bags of clothes that I never wear. Sorry, eco warriors. Sorry, fast fashion police. It's just one of those things. Anyway, um, I hate selling clothes. It, they weren't like really great quality clothes or just new look or whatever. 
So I just took them along to one of those places where they weigh your clothes and you get like hardly any money back for them. So I got £8.50 and there was a charity shop next door. So I picked up a few things. Quickly show you. One pound for this cool coffee jug, I guess. It is Pyrex. Um, it's got JAJ on there, which is Pyrex. And it's a foil design and the foiling is wearing away a little bit, but I love that snazzy little lid. And these, I think I could get up to 20 pound for this one, which is cool. It's quite an unusual design. Next, I got these, they were £2.50, but they're unreal. They're like heavy ceramic tile drinks coasters, and they're like loads of different fruit designs, cork back, and they've got their little stand. These are fab. I'm gonna maybe aim for around 25 to 30 on those, because I just think they're absolutely gorgeous. Really retro, and in really nice condition as well. So that's great. I love a cushion cover. This was a pound. There was a cushion inside of it, um, but the actual cushion was from Primark and I don't want someone to open that and think, oh, this cushion cover is from Primark, because this isn't, this is vintage, um, but the cushion that was inside was Primark. So I'm just gonna sell this on its own as is and I'm gonna maybe aim for 15 pounds. It's absolutely gorgeous. It's like a quilted effect, adorable design. This kind of thing will sell quite well on Etsy. So yeah, I paid a pound for that. And lastly, I just got this cute necklace. It's super gaudy. This is just plastic. Gold and green chain. Yeah, retro. That's cool. That was 75 pence. And I think it's really unusual. So I'm maybe going to go 15 to 20 pound free shipping um, on Etsy. Maybe slightly less on eBay. But yeah, love that. So that was my little outing this morning. It was an accident. I didn't mean to go to the charity shop, but I think I only spent, I think I spent £5.25. And from all of that, reasonably you should expect to get £60 um, minus fees. So that was, it was a good little outing. It was successful. Um, now I'm gonna open my new photo box and see what happens. Should be quite easy to put together. It's in there. So let's do that now. Right, so I've just got this out of the box. Just gonna set it up. I got the Samtian 60 centimeter square box. Um, see, hopefully it'll just fold out easy peasy. Came with four of these liners. And normally on the cheaper ones, they're like that cloth stuff. But these are like nice plastic, so they'll wipe off nice and easy. It was 85.99, which is Quite expensive but I wanted to get a decent quality one that would last a long time because I'm going to be using it a lot um, so it's also got two like lights which I think you can move about various plugs I hope there's some instructions with this let's give it a go I'm hoping it just folds out it seems to let's have a look Ooh, right Um, what's going on here? Oh, hmm. why won't you fold? Ah, Velcro. Okay. Oh, 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 it's looking more like a box, people. Okay. Right, that must be the top, so. This one's going like this. Bear with me, I'm coming back in a second. I'm just, I'm just over here. Right, hold on. Let me put this over. Right, what do I think then? Let's have a look. Right, oh, okay. Oh, this is okay. Right. Yeah. Ooh. It seems to just velcro together. Let's have a look. Yeah. Whoa, right. Oh. Right, that. Okay. Sorry, I know you couldn't see that very well. I don't really have many places to perch you around there. Have a look. Right. 
So this is what it looks like popped up. And then it's got this here, which I presume goes over here. And we've got these. I've got these lights, a plug, and whatever that is. So let's have a look. Right, so I found an extra flap at the front there. So this was like tucked underneath there. Then you can pull it down. So you can open that and shoot through there if you would like to. And then it's got all these little win windows, which is cool. Yeah, so if I think I can flip that back up and then try and get that white plastic in there somehow. So that was easy enough. I've just folded back the top and the front. Um, and then it just slides into here and into there. It's really nice quality, so I'm pleased with that so far. And then I think I need to put these lights in. Right, so for these LED lights, I've got two of them. And they're just like slot on super easy, so you can move them around wherever you like. So I'll have to work out what the best lighting is for various things, but you can either just have them on the top, or you can have one on the front here as well. Because these little clips rotate round so you can have them point in any direction so that's fab so let's get this set up and plugged in and then we're gonna have a look of something in it george i think you could fit in there oh this is gonna be great doggy portraits galore <laughs> i'm really pleased with this so far it seems really good quality and it's a nice size i think i can fit most of the things that i sell in here um, that tiny light box you can see how small it is compared to this um, so yeah I'm pretty sure I can, fit, I can fit all of that art in fab this is perfect just what I needed right so that's it set up and plugged in I've just left that front flap off let's turn this on now it's got like a little dimmer switch and you can change the temperature of the light and all sorts so let's see ooh Oh, that's fab. Wow. I'm just going to sit in the dog bed a second. Oh, that's amazing, isn't it? I should, uh, let's pick something off the shelf and have a look. I'll just pick this little flower and see what it's like. I think this is going to look fab even without like having to do any photo editing, um, which is great. Let's have a look. Ooh. Oh, yeah, that's going to be fab, isn't it? Yeah, I'm really pleased with that. Would recommend. Gorgeous. Should have got one of these a long time ago. Now that I'm thinking about it. <laughs> Never mind, I've got one now. So that's it for today. Um, I think we've achieved quite a lot. I'm really, really chuffed with that photo box. And I'm just loving this new setup. I think it's going to just make my life so much easier. So yeah, hit the subscribe button if you haven't. I would really appreciate it. Um, if you'd like to have a little chat in the comments, just get onto that. My Instagram is in the description down below as well as my Etsy store. So yeah, get in touch if you'd like to. And I'll see you soon for more reselling fun and frolics. <laughs> Bye guys.